The science was described like creating a star here on Earth and using the energy from it to create electricity. Commonwealth fusion systems, as well as state and local lawmakers, say they believe this is clean and safe energy that can provide electricity for hundreds of homes and create hundreds of jobs. This is truly groundbreaking. A new kind of energy system may be coming to the Commonwealth. Commonwealth Fusion Systems, a startup, is planning to build the world's first commercial fusion power plant in Chesterfield, set to be constructed on Dominion Energy's pre-existing site at the James River Industrial Complex. And we're just thrilled they chose to, to do it in Virginia. I, I can't, I had, literally had to pinch myself today. So what is fusion energy? Fusion is what powers the stars, and we are basically trying to build a star here on Earth and use it to make electricity. So in, in fusion, you take small atoms like hydrogen, um, you combine them together to form bigger atoms like helium, and that releases a bunch of energy, and we'll take that energy, um, use it to make electricity, and then use that electricity to power um, anything that you want. Those behind the project say it's safe, since the fusion process will stop automatically if exposed to air. All of that happening in this donut-shaped machine using magnets will produce 400 megawatts of net electricity, which could power roughly 150,000 homes in the region for 20 years or more. Youngkin says that's why it comes at a perfect time. We have more people moving here than moving away for the first time in 10 years. The state is growing. We need more power, and this is part of the solution. The state and Chesterfield County are investing about $2 million total into the project, and Chesterfield County plans to invest an additional $10 million for long-term advancement. To be honest with you, they've been looking for approximately two years, and Chesterfield actually only became an option to them in the last four to six months. It's coming to Jim Ingalls district, something he thinks his constituents will be confident in. It was shared today that they can bring in all of the fuel to run the plant for 20 years on one tractor trailer. I think that is truly amazing and um, that shows that we're not bringing something in that's, that's dangerous or harmful to the community. We're bringing in something very positive and we're going to be able to help meet the energy demand that we have in the area. Now, if everything works and goes through, uh, production would start in the 2030s. You can learn more about this kind of science by going to our website, WTVR.com. In Richmond, I'm Elizabeth Holmes, CBS 6 News.